everybody. Yep, it's me again, Justin Tucker, Senior Account Manager for Central Inc. Central is a manufacturer's representative and distributor for all things process control instrumentation. Our office is located in Plymouth, Massachusetts. We handle the Mid-Atlantic and New England territories. But anyway, we're going to talk about Coriolis meters today. I know you're excited about that. So Coriolis meter, uh, for those that you don't know, they're used in a bunch of different industries uh, to measure high accuracy, true mass flow, and density. So uh, reasons to use a Coriolis meter, um, there's no need for a flow conditioner uh, before or after the metering point. There are no straight run requirements, like there are in other technologies of flow measurement. Uh, so you don't need 10 and five, you don't need 20 and 10, you need zero uh, straight run requirements for a Coriolis meter. Um, there's no moving parts in a Coriolis meter, which means uh, less wear and tear, um, little to no maintenance on the meter. Uh, you can do bi-directional flow with a Coriolis meter and Coriolis meters typically can handle a very wide range of pressures and temperatures. And again, the biggest benefit for a Coriolis meter is you're getting a true mass flow, temperature, and density measurement out of, out of the one meter. So uh, those are the benefits of using a Coriolis meter. Um, we're gonna talk specifically about the Yokogawa model Rotomass TI Coriolis meter. Um, the Rotomass TI comes in six different uh, tube designs, as you can see here. Okay. Uh, the tube designs depend on a number of things. Um, is it a low flow application? Is it a high pressure application? Is this going to be for um, food and beverage market? Is it going to go into pharmaceutical application? So with a, a couple of those answers, you know, we can we can direct you to the right tube design and then uh, the end result will be the right model of the Rotomass TI. The TI stands for Total Insight. Um, the really nice thing about the Rotomass TI products is it has um, something called a total health or a total tube check function. So this is, this is the function where the meter will run through a verification and a tube integrity program um, this basically tells us if the meter is still operating within a manufacturer's specifications and it can extend the life of the calibration of the unit. Uh, the Rotomass line has the thickest tube designs in the industry. So this means uh, it's going to provide a longer lifespan, especially in a corrosive or abrasive applications. You can imagine the thicker tube, it takes less to, uh, to affect the tube walls. Uh, the Roadmask comes with a micro SD card. Uh, this is used to store all your data logs and uh, programming information. That's really handy if you're doing multiple units in the field. You can pop the micro SD card out. Um, and if it's the same application, you can just plug it into the next one and it uploads all the, all the programming information and the data, which is programmed in the micro SD card. Um, it also has a 4 to 20 external input typically used for pressure compensation. Uh, so that's the quick and dirty overview of the Rotomass TI. Two heads, different accuracies, different um, uh, requirements for area requirements. Uh, six different tube designs depending on your application needs. Um, we've got our sensor cable here, it comes out of the head. It goes into the, the Rotomass tube meter body. We have our heart communication here that we can plug in. That means you don't have to take the back off, especially if you're in an x proof area, class one did one. The two heart uh, wiring cables plug right in here and you can do all the programming via heart communicator or uh, you can use it via laptop with a specific program. Um, on the display screen here, you have, you have three programming buttons down at the bottom and then I've configured the display to read mass flow in kilograms an hour. I've got a density line item. I've got a concentration line item and I've got a temperature line item. So we're, we're already reading a live temperature of 21.3 degrees C, which is, you know, right around 70, 71 degrees F. So we know our temperature is looking right. And if you can look over here, all I'm doing here is I've connected 
uh, a quarter inch line to the inlet of this demo meter body here for the Coriolis. I'm going to open up this valve and we're just going to push a little water through. You can see that we went right up to uh, 8.1 kilograms an hour and now we're going back in the negative direction um, basically because the water is flowing back into the water bottle that we supplied with the demo unit. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, again I wish you could see the display a little bit better but uh, that's Coriolis in a nutshell.